Need the red, be the J. A, double C, P. Everybody trying to be with me. Got to have the equal to be the best. I come from Swaziland, a small country situated in the low south of Africa, in a village called Simunye, situated in the low felt of Swaziland, sugar plantation. I had a very comfortable <laughs> uh, upbringing actually. My father worked hard. My father, in fact, in my, it's my parents that had a difficult upbringing uh, growth for us. I've been a, a very intelligent child. I used to always get position one. <laughs> I like writing. Ever since I was in high school, I used to write a lot of stories. I was good in stories. You know, when I was in Form 1, they used to write, read my stories for the Form 5s. You know, it was great. Uh, I used to like uh, Darcy Sex, uh, Yellow Man. Uh, you know, Yellow Man was the one that actually I, I used to like that rhythm, you know, and long time ago they used to show it on TV, you know. I was very young, I think I was six years old. Buju Banton, MC Hammer, Shaba Ranks. <laughs> you know, in high school we had a lot of uh, shows like concerts where we, we mimic, you know, like, uh, pretend to be uh, whoever, you know. So my last year there I decided to do a live performance. I was like, you know what? You know, people, you know, pile up, uh, fill up in our concerts just to watch us pretend to be other artists. What if I would do my own, get an instrumental and just rap? You know. Baby, love me for me. And I swear, eventually you will see the flower so beautiful. Growing from a I had a good upbringing and went to a good school and was close to my dad up until he passed away. He passed away at a very wrong time of my life. Uh, I was doing my final year in high school. So he just passed away the following day I was starting my exam. So that sort of like crushed. He was the only one that knew that I wanted to be an artist. My father understood, you know, he was more closer to me. I was closer to my father, so. When he passed away, it was like, I got exposed, basically, to the outside world. I looked for a job, couldn't find a job. But then the musical opportunities were, were coming. So, one of my friends at that time was like, told this guy like, Epa, you have no idea, Jazz Pete, this girl can whip your ass <laughs> in your mother tongue and you won't even be. I was like, no, I, no don't, don't talk like that, don't talk like that. Because <laughs> H-Pa, I'm um, a little shy. This is voice inside, screaming now, now, screaming jazz, now the time, make your sound now. One started beatboxing and then I started dropping in my language and like, oh. And then the, the DJ uh, took my mother's number because I didn't have a phone at that time. He hooked me up with a, a raga guy, a raga artist, also in Swaziland, called Ras Ritchie. So while I was rapping, he was doing a, a raga thing on his rhythm. Do you understand? So that's how. I sort of like started getting exposed to the live performances. I met Tobile. Tobile took me to the point in Swaziland, Babani, where something is happening, you know. She invited me um, to one of the poetry sessions there. So I used to stay in Simunye. Simunye, Babani is like a long distance, so he, she would invite me. We just met in one of the sessions, you know. But it was the strangest meeting because we, we sort of like we started smiling at each other when he was still coming and we sort of like said hi. <laughs> it was as if, you know, we, it was as if we had known each other like forever because you know, I grew up in Samuya. Samuya is a, like a, a village, you know. The way I dress, you know, I've always been different ever since I was young. I used to like my mom's old clothes, you know, the 60s style. I was strange, you know, they used to think I, I trace strange earrings, I used to love big ones. Uh, 
But then when I met Toby, it was like, oh my God, here's me. <laughs> you know, and and she was okay about it, you know, because she has an she has an okay energy. And so she exposed me to the to the to the performance uh, platform, you know, the poetry sessions in Babani. And that's when I got to meet other uh, rappers, other artists. You building brick wall, let's get it on. Yeah. Trying to change my style, Mr. No approach inside. Hey, this is how I rhyme, so just so to call me shout. When I speak, I speak my mind, how to be 